This short guide will help you explore the specific resources that are available at the University of Hertfordshire for your practical legal research. I'm also going to cover um, some short example searches in Lexis Plus and Westlaw to highlight the main features and also how to record, organise and save your research as this is an important aspect of practical legal research. And finally, how you can develop your legal research skills. Note that these slides are narrated and include some short videos. Undertaking practical legal research is slightly different from the research that you'll have done for academic assignments. And we have specific sources um, that are um, suitable for this. Resources that are used by legal practitioners themselves when they're undertaking their own legal research. So you can mirror the experience that you'd get in, um, in, in practice. We have three main databases, Lexis Plus, Westlaw and Practical Law. There's, uh, most of the key sources that you need for practical legal research are in Lexis Plus and are listed here. Halsbury's Laws of England, which is the um, only comprehensive encyclopedia of the whole law of England. And then there's two resources that have forms and precedents. Encyclopedia Forms and Precedents and Atkins Court Forms. And in this guide, I'll show you how to access these specific sources. And then in addition to these databases, there's uh, practitioner texts, and we have more of these in Lexis Plus. These are key texts that are written by lawyers um, and legal professionals for their practical legal research work. They're um, different from academic texts and are much more practical in nature. So to access all the library resources for your uh, practical legal research, you should access them using the online library in StudyNet or there might be links in your module reading list. If you access them from the online library and it may be specifically from the Law Subject Toolkit, then you'll access them without any um, problems and without any need to um, enter additional information for logging in. From the Lexis Plus homepage, you can search across the whole of the database. Um, the content is um, searchable from this one search box, but it is sort of divided into two different um, aspects. There's legal research, which is what we've got here by default, you've also can search separately practical guidance. We have access to all the legal research content within our subscription. With practical guidance, we have access to all the overviews that cover um, all the practice areas. And we also have all the content um, for practical guidance relating to the property practice area. One of the great ways of discovering what content is available is using this explore by practice area and clicking on one of those topics and then you're listed um, with the key sources that are available, the key legislation, key case law and key practitioner texts. When you need to use a specific source in Lexis Plus, for example, Hellsbury's Laws of England, then I would recommend you use the Explore My Sources from the homepage. So you can search for a specific source here, or you could view all sources and just choose it from the alphabetical listing. So for example, for Hallsbury's, I'll go into H and I can choose it here and you've got a pin here and by clicking on that that's automatically pinned that to my home page so I can go back to here and see that I've now got it pinned here so I've pinned these key sources as well for example Atkins court forms and encyclopedia of forms and precedents and this can be just an easier way to go to a specific source uh, rather than having to search for it um, each time you access the database.
So for my example search, I'm going to use um, tribunal, employment tribunal. Um, as you see, as I start typing, the database suggests what it is I might want to be searching for and suggests some common legal phrases which I can click into. And that will help me um, find a definition which will show ident uh, relevant legislation and, and further guidance. So you can see here I've got the overviews listed. I've got something from a practitioner textbook published by Butterworth. And um, I've also got a form here from Atkins Court Forms and the commentary from Halsbury's Laws of England, which I've mentioned as a key authoritative source. So there's a number of different sources there and I can use the filters to narrow it down further. So for example, on the practical guidance, I can look at just the overviews and you'll see here, there's also Halsbury's Laws and Stair used as a filter. These are two separate publications, but have been grouped together because they're both authoritative sources. Um, one is for England law um, and Wales, this one here, Halsbury's, and the other source is Stair, which is specifically for Scotland. So do bear in mind that you might only want to be looking at Halsbury's Laws of England, and you can uh, just uh, select all those by this textbook text box here. Um, so if we just look at Halsbury's Laws of England, this will take you straight into the relevant volume um, on employment law, and the, and you can see here the um, the contents. It's employment uh, volume the 34, and it's um, a specific section here. You can um, expand your tables of contents here to see um, to, to browse the, the volume or you can uh, just hide it like that and once you're into a document in Lexis Library if in uh, Lexis Plus you can use the mouse to just highlight any text and as you do that you'll then be asked if you want to um, highlight it and you can choose a different color or to annotate it which is basically adding a note which might help you um, remind you what that is useful for as part of your research and you can just save that and that will stay with you every time you find that document. To find a form or precedent um, use one of these main sources that we've got in Lexis Library, Atkins Court Forms or the Encyclopedia of Forms and Precedents. You can search for a form by its name or its number. You might also, if you don't know, know, know what that is, you might want to browse by the particular volumes which are organized um, by topic. So to search for, for a form, I'm going to, for example, search for ET1, which is a, a tribunal, employment tribunal form. So you've got here the um, the title of it and it is referred to as ET1. So um, in the results, simply click on the link here and you'll be able to um, look at the form here. It will give you some information about it. And then to open the form, um, you can click on here and that will open up a PDF uh, which will be editable. Um, similarly, in the Forms and Precedents uh, Encyclopedia, let's just go back to the, uh, my home page, where I've got the resource pinned. Similarly, you can search for a form by its um, full title or name. So, for example, TR1 is a property, is a form that's used in property. And um, I can click on this one here. And again, it'll have a link to be able to view the form.
one of the best ways of seeing which sources are available for your practical legal research in Westlaw is to browse by topic. So very similar to uh, Lexis Library, explore the practice area by clicking on the topic. Um, on each topic page, Westlaw brings together all the relevant content. So you can see latest developments here. You can see all the resources that are available within the database. You've got a number of different um, key texts here. These are practitioner texts, so they're um, designed by and for lawyers for practical legal research. Um, some you'll notice that are out of plan, and these are just simply ones we don't have as part of our subscription. Um, the database identifies the key legislation key journals and call, key call law, law reports for this particular topic. So you can search across the topic, you can browse um, further by clicking into one of the subheadings. And having gone down into a specific heading, sometimes you get the um, an overview article. These are really good for identifying the key legislation, key cases, and might direct you to um, key practitioner texts as well. So do have a look at the overview articles as a good starting point. Once you've, once you've gone into any document in the database, you've got options to download it, um, save it to a folder very similar to Lexis Library and you can also annotate documents so as soon as you start highlighting text you get options to um, choose a colour of highlighting and you might also want to add a note just to indicate why this particular information is um, relevant or useful for example so you can add in your note and save it and you can have a look at your history for looking at recent searches, recent documents. You can also have a look if you've saved um, anything to a folder. So for example, if I go back to the sale of goods and services uh, document that I was looking at, and you can see I've got my saved annotation here and, and highlighting. Legal databases have features that help you organise and save your research. It's important that you keep a record of the research that you undertake, for example, recording this, the keywords that you might have searched, as well as the sources that you've found. So within each of the database, you can use um, the history uh, logo or button in the menu to track and resume your research. 
and you can also save and organize your research using folders. And the links here guide you directly to a short video or a guide how to use these features within each database. A really effective way of developing your legal research skills is to undertake certification um, in each of the legal databases. It's available for Westlaw, Practical Law and Lexis, uh, Lexis Plus. So certification is basically doing an online test that proves your competence and your um, familiarity with the databases. They're online um, tests, multiple choice questions, and you can take them a number of different times. Uh, the Thomson Reuters provide online training sessions that cover the main um, aspects that you'll be tested on for each of the certificates. And then the sessions include an opportunity to complete the online test. And you need to book these in advance and they run several times during each month. You can also do Lexis Plus certification, but this is more of a self-guided route. And from this link, you can access the different day, um, short videos that help prepare you for the test. Once you've got certification, it's a really good thing to be able to add to your CV as well. To